Hello everyone, welcome to Danimal's House. Today's project, we're gonna take a look at an electric can crusher project that I made from scratch, along with my oldest daughter, Alyssa, for a high school physics project. Let's take a look. All right, so here's the general idea. Long ago, I always used to watch YouTube videos about people with cool ideas for how they crush cans, and they always use pneumatics. They always use air pressure, or hydraulic pressure, and I just had this idea one time driving down the road of an old baler. I grew up on a farm and I remember the old balers used to work where the plunger would hit and then when the plunger came back, the hay would get pushed in and then it would be hit back and it would just be that continual motion. So that idea sparked the engineering behind this electric can crusher project and uh, we brought it to life a few years ago and I want you to see it. All right, so here's the idea of this can crusher. First of all, you're gonna be powered by an electric motor. I got a half horse motor, and we've got a couple of gearing down processes here. And eventually you make your way to the plunger. This plunger is a half inch rod that goes through this hardwood block, and it's attached to a long rod. And I created this little plunger here where it's gonna go on a linear slide and it pushes in. So the general concept is as this thing moves and spins, it's going to push through and it's going to crush the can. And then while that can is being crushed, the next level or the next layer of cans is gonna be resting on top of that little platform. And then as soon as we continue through and that plunger comes back, there's a hole in here and the crushed can will fall and the new can from the hopper will fall right down and the process repeats. So as we look at how this was all engineered, uh, we had a couple of challenges along the way. The first challenge is that we weren't sure how big of a motor we needed. I wasn't sure how to calculate how all of that was supposed to work. And um, so I thought half horse, we're gonna see how a half horse is gonna work and we're gonna just roll with it. Well, it turned out that that's plenty of power. The biggest challenge that I had here was trying to gear this thing down. The motor is 1,750 RPMs, and obviously I can't crush 1,750 cans in one minute, so I had to get myself geared way down. So basically, just using the pulley theory, a small pulley driving a big pulley is gonna slow down by whatever the ratio is. So if you've got you know, three times more uh, circumference on the big one, then you're gonna reduce your speed by one third and so on and so forth. Then I got to here and I had a real hard time with so much pressure crushing the can. I had a hard time keeping the belt from slipping. So I added a chain. So if any of you are wondering why you've got two belts and a chain, that's why, because the most force was on this uh, revolutionary uh, track here. And so we were basically uh, having problems with keeping that all strong. This is all made of hardwood, the platform is, and we just used pillow blocks, we used half inch rods, a uh, couple of belts and a chain. And then let me show you here what we did with this uh, rod here. I, I got this half inch solid steel rod, and what I did is I just took a torch to it and I slowly bent this angle. Once it heated up, I bent this angle to a perfect 90 and then I bent this one to a perfect 90 as well. And then just put a little grease fitting on there, a nut with a cotter pin. And then over here, I had this rod. This was an adjustable rod from an old tractor that I used to have. And uh, I just rigged that up so that I could adjust the depth of the plunge to decide how uh, much I wanted the can to get crushed or not. And then this linear slide is just a, a mechanism that's on ball bearings that I just bought online and uh, that that slides and keeps everything real straight. So let's see how this bad boy works. So we're gonna start off by just showing you how the thing works. We got a switch set up here for the motor. So we turn the thing on, you can kind of see how this one's moving really fast, but you, it is slower. And then this slows down by quite a bit more, and this slows down by quite a bit more. Uh, it looks like we, we did the math on it and we can crush 52 cans in one minute. So we got it from 1,750 revolutions per minute all the way down to 52 revolutions per minute with our pulley system. All right, here we go, we're gonna crush some cans. I've got six cans loaded in the hopper and we are ready to go. This thing works best if I can keep the thing loaded 
And again, 52 cans in one minute. I'm gonna crush 15 here in about 15 seconds. So here we go. All right, I hope you enjoyed the Can Crusher video. Uh, put your questions, comments down there. I'd be happy to help out and see you on the next episode of Danimal's House.